What's poppin' with that? Today is Tuesday, November 17th. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Josiah Edwards, and we're here with your distance learning announcements. It's been a little bit chilly this week. Let's pass it over to Isabel with the weather. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Isabel Herman, and I'm here with this week's weather report. Starting today, it's looking like it's going to rain both today and tomorrow. It will be a little bit cloudy on Thursday, but it looks like the sun will come out on Friday and Saturday. For the highs of the week, we will be in the low 60s pretty much all week. And for the lows, we will stay in the low 40s to high 30s. That's all I have for you today. Thanks, Isabel. I can't believe it's starting to rain so much. And due to the outcome, we have more to show you. Here's Sammy with the major outcomes of the election. What's up, Wolfpack? Now that we've finished covering the presidential election as a whole, let's dive deeper and see what the state outcomes were of this election. Record numbers of LGBTQ plus members have been elected this election season, starting off with Senator Sarah McBride. She is a Democratic activist and she's the nation's first person who publicly identifies as transgender to serve as a state senator. Congratulations for Sarah for winning a race in Delaware. Representative Maury Turner. Turner is both the first non-binary legislator ever and the first Muslim legislator in Oklahoma. Congratulations, Representative Maury Turner. Now moving on to Congressman Richie Torres and Mondary Jones. They made history as becoming the first gay black men to be elected into Congress. Congratulations, you guys. This is a huge win for LGBTQ plus members as representation is key in politics. Moving on to Nevada, Nevada becomes the first state to protect gay marriage in its state's constitution. Voters in Mississippi voted to replace their state flag that used to contain the Confederate flag. The new flag will replace the 126-year-old banner. Now moving on to $15 minimum wage. Florida has now become the eighth state to approve a pay for of $15 an hour. Congratulations to Florida. Denver's pit bull ban was repealed. Denver's federal pit bull ban was finally repealed with a 65% approval rate. California's Prop 17 is passed, which grants people who completed their prison terms to now obtain their voting rights back. Congratulations, parolees, as you can now serve your right to vote. Looks like the 2020 election was good to our fellow states. Congratulations to all of you. And once again, congratulations to President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a have terrific, a terrific Tuesday, Wolf Pack. Wolf pack.